It's great to be in this room full of uh, leaders and influencers, and uh, it's my hope that in being here today, I can hopefully move you to get involved in a little bit of this, this urban mobility movement within the, the global south. <laughs> so Where Is My Transport is focused on tackling the problems of public transport within emerging cities today. The reality is when many of us think of public transport, we think of something that is largely solved. You think about San Fran, London, Tokyo, different major cities where getting from A to B is not really a challenge. It's something that you can readily rely on. You take out your phone and that information is available. But in reality, for people in a majority of the world's cities, whether it's in Africa, the Middle East, large swaths of Asia, uh, Latin America, this public transport information is not readily available. So some of you may be familiar with uh, this form of transport. It's called the Jitney, the Matatu, the Dalla Dalla, the Trotro, uh, the Minibus, the Kombi. It has a different name in many of these different countries and parts of the world that I was mentioning. And for many city leaders, they look at this and go, oh no, what am I going to do? You know, how, do I, how do I include this transport? How do I understand where it moves? How do, I, how do I enable that information to be available to people? And for many city leaders, they see this as a major challenge. But when we look at this, rather, we see this as an, an amazing untapped resource. It's a resource that is incredibly resilient. It's a resource that moves 70 to 80% of the populations in many of these emerging cities. But it's a resource that is yet to be digitally transformed. And that is a role that cities can play in terms of being more inclusionary with this mode of transport. A lot more of us are familiar with what we see behind me here, which is a combination of you have rail, you have BRT, you have different forms of non-motorized transport, uh, be it footpaths or, or cycle routes. But as a city leader, in order for you to get your information to get your mobility system working, it's really about bringing all of these disparate parts together. And so the challenge is, how do you connect the BRT with the, the minibus or the Dalla Dalla, the rickshaw? How do you connect all of these different modes so that people can engage them in the way that they would naturally, using a combination of these various services available to them? And for us, when we, when we look at this, this is where we see the challenge of public transport as being one of an ecosystem, one where we have, the, we have the role of trying to pull all this information together to make it easier and more accessible for people to move around their cities. So when we think back to the origin story of where Where Is My Transport began, it started out because one of the co-founders 10 years ago missed the bus waiting for, he was waiting for a bus to get to a university exam, the bus didn't arrive, he got in lots of trouble. And the reality is that the resource was there, the infrastructure was there, the service was there, but the service was unreliable. The thing that he really lacked was the information. And what city leaders are starting to come to terms with, that they're starting to understand, is the role of information within their cities and the, the potential that that information represents. And what we're starting to see now is that alongside of infrastructure, city leaders are also starting to see infrastructure as something equally important, something that is equally powerful and is capable of truly enabling the multimodal connectivity of a, of a city and enabling that potential for freedom of movement around that city with a completely different scale of investment. You know, often we think about how do we improve public transport? Well, let's get some more rolling stock. Let's put down another highway, create another BRT lane, throw down more stops. The reality is all of this stuff is often funded by development banks in the markets that I'm talking about. And they cost you 20 million, 50 million, 100 million dollars and up you go. With infrastructure, it's, it's about connecting together all the disparate pieces of infrastructure that your city already has today and really harnessing that information to make more possible. And the difference is it costs you one, two, three million. So before you start to make decisions about putting down that $100 million highway, maybe you want to actually have the information available to you to understand what will be the implications of putting down that highway. Uh, I, I, I won't name the city, but there was one city, for instance, where the highway was put down. And the net result was everyone spent 90 more minutes trying to get to work. Well, everyone that used public transport, that is. So city leaders are starting to understand the role of information within their cities. So where do we start? Well, you know, when we think about why does transport work so well in a lot of these places I was speaking about, it's because they've been able to centralize all that information. And the role of Where Is My Transport is about providing a platform to allow these cities to centralize all of their information. And the various kinds of information that they have, I see I'm running out of time, so I'm speeding up. Um, 
You've got your static information, which is your timetables, your routes, your fares, your stops. If you look at the informal transport, it's also got boarding and alighting points. It's got frequencies and probabilities. There's some other information that you have to gather. Then you've got your live data, which is coming out of all of your disparate pieces of infrastructure. And you've also got crowdsourced information. And all of this together represents the potential of your full mobility network. But Many would ask, OK, well, what about that informal? How exactly do you get all of that information? How do you make that available? And uh, the work that we've done so far, so um, on our platform, uh, we launched at nine or borrowing on 10 months ago. We've loaded it up with 20 cities across Middle East and Africa. If you were to take out your phone and look on Google, you will not find the information for those cities, although we are looking to make that more, more available online. But we actually have found a, a methodology to help cities understand where their full network goes and help them understand where 80% of that network is moving before they start to make further decisions as to where to lay new roads, where to alter their existing formal transport network. What you see up here is some very basic ways that the, this information, when loaded into the central platform, can enable cities. And some of the simple ways is enabling journey planning so that people can move very easily from A to B, enabling live ETAs, so taking information out of all these disparate systems and turning it into when is your bus or your train or your, your rickshaw arriving, and city to citizen engagement, which was the one that the first city we deployed in was most interested in, opening a dialogue between them and their citizens. They could start to understand the quality of service delivery and how it was impacting the various people in that city. But rather than try and get into any further, any further detail, um, I have a 90-second video. This video will explain the full potential of this platform when it's deployed within your city. When most people think of public transport, they think of buses, roads, and trains. They don't often think of the information it takes to make that transport accessible. Everyone needs information a commuter finding the best way to work, transport operators communicating with their passengers about their service, and city leaders growing opportunity for their citizens through accessible mobility. At Where Is My Transport, when we think of what it takes to move a city, we think of information. The Where Is My Transport platform turns data into the information we need. It supports data in any format for any mode. It enables operators to keep their passengers informed with real-time updates and alerts. And our reporting tools empower cities to make smart, data-driven decisions to optimize public transport. Our platform is open for anyone to build on. Create an app or tool that provides information to people when and where they need it. Born in South Africa, we understand that it's a challenge to move the city. We work with emerging cities like our own to build solutions that work for them. Empowering people everywhere to get where they want to go. That closing line, empowering people everywhere to get where they want to go, that was the thing that got us starting this 10 years ago. It's the thing that's still driving a group of almost 50 individuals that are trying to crack this problem of tra public transport. Because the way we see it is there's well over a billion people there that are still waiting for freedom of movement to become something that is more than just anecdotal, but something that's a reality. And hopefully the people in this room can help make that happen sooner. Thank you very much.